G'day guys, I'm Joe Train, and welcome back to Scrum Mechanic, where I'll be doing a video on how to make the DE2 class that I use in my Scrum Mechanic Train World Survival series. I've got a suggestion by Euro Design Inc, and he wanted to know how to make the DE2 class, which is uh, based off um, the DE2 class from Derail Valley. Um, so yeah, that's what I plan to do today, and this one will be a short video. If you ever want to, like, build your own DE2 class in your survival world, then the, this will be the tutorial for that. So yeah, this is what it will look like. And then we can, um, jump in the cab here. And then we can move it forwards. We can move it backwards. And we've got lights as well, and you can change the direction of the lights. And there's also couplers as well, so if you want to couple up like a wagon you can just um get your weld tool and then let's just like weld this to the back and then that can be welded on and then if we just hop back in here and then we can just drive off so there you go so um yeah let's without further ado let's um get straight into it the next day all right so so off camera, I've just set up some chests with all the stuff you'll need, um, all the parts you need to make the D2 class. So over you here, you've got six lights, ten bearings, a saddle, fan blade cap, engine, logic gates, two uh, fuel containers, uh, four wheels, and obviously you're going to need fuel. Uh, we have two logic gates for the light, 17 of these small pipes, three of these T pipes, uh, the pipe long, two curved pipes, eight valves, and then some nuts. 60 small pipes, 36 of these small bend pipes, 16 of these T small pipes, 6 of these 4 way small pipes, and 4 long small pipes. Here we got uh, 15 of these I beam ends, 12 of these short I beams. Um, it's annoying because they don't stack. And then here you have you have a load of wedges, 67. Right, so 67 wedges. And you have these ramps, 9, 10 of these, and then two of these warehouse ramps as well. And then over here, this is all the blocks you're gonna need as well. All right, so the easiest thing to do is just to start off by doing the base of the locomotive. Since like metal's heavier, I use it as like bottom to keep like all the mass of the train at, at the bottom. And then we'll just extend this like, I don't know, four blocks like that. So you want to, this wants to be nine blocks, so you got to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Extend this like this. That's like three blocks. And then we'll have some of um, these scrap metal. Three going off that. Three going off that. This is the fan blade, so because the fan blades you can like, um, it, it's like sticky on every side, right? So you can place it on any side. Just put a stick it on the ends. And then we're gonna get the other pipes as well that's in here. There, and I'll do another one as well. We'll get the diamond plated blocks because that's like the walkway where you're gonna be like walking on. So we'll just put that like, I don't know, above like that. All right, so this is actually supposed to be two blocks extended, not three sets, like that, All right, and the same on the other side as well. And then since we're here, we'll get the valves here, and then this is just like to make it look more like the DE2 class, just by having like these like here and here, and then putting the valves on it like that. And then we'll get the wedges out, so it's going to need the wedges, that goes like this raise the lift up and then we'll get and then this is like to emulate this like the steps that you would go on to like climb up the locomotive even though there is an action it doesn't actually work in the game it's just like for the aesthetics right and then we'll just repeat that on the other side as well this is pretty much the same on this side and then just like that and then we'll get these out and just place it like so and then we just we're gonna get rid of this so that's all going to be metal there and then do repeat on this side so that's metal well that's the um diamond plated metal blocks now we'll put some metal on the front here oh yeah one thing to know as well is that the railway i'm using is that the blocks it's like five u gauge so there's five blocks in between because i'm pretty sure that in scrap mechanic the standard gauge is seven blocks in between so it'd be like one two three four five six seven and then you have the like your rail piece like here or like there 
So that would be, um, standard gauge. But the thing is, I like this, like, gauge because it's, like, more, um, scaled with, like, the scrap mechanic characters. Because I feel like the, if you have the rail, like, all the way up here, it's, like, it's too big, right? So, that's, that's why I use that smaller gauge. Um, that's, that's just one thing to note when I'm building this train. Is that the gauge is going to be smaller. Let's just put the wheels on now. One, two. So, that wheel is going to be on this, um fan blade part here or the fan cap so there you go and then there's gonna be five blocks in between it's gonna be one two three four five five blocks and then we just want to kind of fill this on in the other side as well like that like that all right and then we'll just do that down here and then just get rid of this middle section and then just move this like two blocks so there's gonna be one to three, one to three, and then we'll cover that up like that. And then like that. And then we kinda of just wanna repeat what we did on this side on the other side. So let me just let's just let's just like fill the top of this. And let's just remove remove that here. Um because what I do with the cause how like trains work is that the wheels they're like solid axles, so they're like connected on either side because this is going to be a solid axle right so that's going to be like that and then you're going to do the same on the, on this side as well so it's going to be like that like that and i need to get a uh pipe here Got the pipe and we'll just put that on like that like that and there we go and so if it, you put on the track that'll be the, the correct gauge so there we go even it's going to fall off because we didn't put any uh, guide wheels on it let's no, well, let's just kill this hay. Let's just kill this hay ball. All right. Um, after that minor interference, um, yeah, let's just continue uh, building the train. All right, so let's just put some bearings on on these wheels, and I'll get some of the fan caps. Just put it on end like that, and then let's you get the scrap metal and just do a little bit of this. A little bit of that and then just weld that onto there and weld this onto there and then we're kind of just repeating, repeating what we did on this side on the other side so let's just use these um pipes to just do to do that uh, add the details of like the suspension for like the the train even though there isn't actually any suspension and then uh since we're working on the wheels let's get the nuts out and then we'll just put these on here. There's kind of like the basic frame of the train. And I'll, I'll repeat that on the other side as well. Just so it's symmetrical. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure I have enough. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure if this is enough parts. But I, I'm hoping it is. Now the sun's out again. Yay. So it's been an entire day. Been just building this vehicle. And right. And then just remove these pieces here. Because now that's that's like the the frame of the train done, right? That's that done, and now we just well, we'll put the we'll put like the caution blocks on here, I guess. Like, so that goes like that, and we'll do the same on the other side here. All right, and, and that's all the caution blocks. So I had I had just enough, just the right amount. All right, and then we'll put some wedges on here, just to, like curve out the edges of it. There we go. I'll use the metal blocks just to do that, just so that's connected like that underneath. Alright, so we want to extend this out. So this is going to be extended like on the two blocks from the front. And then we'll do the same on the other side as well. And I ran out of diamond plated metal blocks so i might want to remove some you know what? I'll, I'll just we can always get some more anyways so uh, i've got i've got 13 more so i i think this is enough so it's just to cover that up all right and let's just build like the basic frame of it um just so you can have an understanding of how it like it was going to look like all right so we're going to put a wedge one two three four five six like that then we'll just raise this up one two three four and this space here this is where the window is going to be so let's just put some glass there so this is the window 
And then we're gonna get some more wedges, so... Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Alright, so that's filled up with the wedges. And now we can't, we just wanna repeat that on the other side as well. Alright, so that's the sides. That's, it's starting to shape up now. You can kind of see how it's gonna look like. Now we'll just like fill that in. Like that. And then we'll put a space here so you can walk through. And then on the other side as well, we'll do that. And then we're gonna put, we'll just get rid of this. So that's like the window's gonna be here. Like that. And then I, I think it's just like the same on the other side as well, just like that. Okay. Uh, there we go, fill that in. Uh, and then this is going to be like the nose of the locomotive, so we're just going to want to extend this out about, I don't know, here-ish. And let's just do that. Do this. Build the top, and... Alright, uh, I ran out... Oh, here we go, still got plenty of metal, rust and metal in here. I'm going to do the same on the back here. Okay, so it needs to be it needs to be one block higher for this for this. Okay, that's gonna be one block higher, and then this needs to probably be a block higher as well. Then, all right, so there you go, starting to shape up, and we'll put the lights on since we might as well. These are like your headlights here. So there you go, one there, one there. And this is like gonna be a grill. So I think we can fill in the grill now. So that's all of these beam, short beams. That's all for the grill on the front. You're gonna want the um, air to like go in to cool down the engine, right? So that's what this is for. So let's just fill that in. We'll get some more of these. Need four more on the front, one, two, three, four. All right, so that's all the short beams used. All right, and then we'll get a light. So which light do we want this one? And just put this on the top. And then we want to use one of the pipes. Oh, here we go. And this is going to be for the funnel. So just put that like there, put like, like that, there we go. All right, and for the back, it's going to be slightly different. So the light, the light's positions is going to be different. So it's going to be like that is going to be here. Remember this one here is going to be the red, the red light like that. There you go. Actually, I think it one lower. I think yeah. All right. So now we want to just fill this in with wedges. So we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we just fill that with wedges. Fill this with wedges, and fill this with like that. So this is like the ramps, like when you're going up, you're going to want to go like up there. So yeah, fill this up, fill these in. And then we want to get the valve, the rest of the valves, six, six more valves. And then this is the, the things on the end, on the sides of like the locomotives. Like if you look at the reference image here, there's like the, those red things, so that's what that's for. And now, um, the reason we have carpet blocks uh, is to like to replicate the look of like the grills on the side of the locomotive, like so, so like that, because um, it look has like this. The pattern is like similar, so we we'll just do that on that side. But we want we only want the end one to be like two by two, like that. And then we want to have on this side, we want to have like this. Alright, so we kind of have the frame done-ish. Uh, let's, I think it's time to put like the, the railings up. So let's get the pipes. We have a lot of pipes here. Alright, so I want to do, put this one here. Make two gaps here. And on the back I'll do one here, one here. And then let's just do it. Let's just do like one side at a time. Uh, where's my T pieces? I didn't get any T pieces. There we go. Alright, so this 
All right, four-way intersection. And this is going to be a T-piece. And then we're going to just gonna connect this up with some pipes here. Bend this up in one, two. And then do like that. And then put the T-pieces. Put the pipes on two. I'm going to need to get another ones. Um, oops. Did not place that in the right spot. All right, let's do this. Do this. Oh, hang on. Okay, so we're gonna, it's going to be like bent like this, okay? Because it's not actually, it's supposed to be like diagonal, but that's like the best you could do in the vanilla game. And for the back, we want to do uh, one of these four way um, pit, small pipe, a uh, small pipe on that, some small pipe curves like this, and then there's another small pipe. And I'm going to have to get some more. And then one, two, and then another curve on here. One, two, small pipe on here. And then there we go. So there's that side done. And then um, on the front, it's going to look like this. So it's going to be on the side here. And the re reason it's like squashed to the front is that you're not really going to walk on the front anyway. So it's just for the aesthetics of like replicating the, the D2 class look. And then we want to get the long pipes like that and then just like that I guess and then uh, same on the back so we want to get one of these uh, get more some more one of these and one two one two rotate that the small curves and then we want to get a small one here and then fill that those in like that all right and then we'll just flip the train around just to make it easier to work on this side so you're kind of just like repeating the same thing but on the other side right I think that's all the railings done. Actually, let's put the seat in. So let's get the saddle in here. You, you know, how are you going to drive if you don't have a seat? So that's going to go in like that. And there it goes. There's some more metal. And let's just fill this in with metal as well. The end. This is where the engine's going to be. So it'll just like fill that with metal. And I need to drink. So let's just get drink some milk. All right. So that's the seat in. And since we're, we'll put the engine in, might as well. Uh, I don't actually remember how high I turned it, so let's probably be like there. Uh, just, oh, we'll go max, why not? And we'll put the fuel. We'll put the fuel in. So um, you only really need one, so you can like reload the train. But I I put two just so it's symmetrical on either side. So, right, so now we can just weld this so that the pipe's not like sticking out of the bottom. Like that. All right, so that's in and we can just cover that up with some metal. All right, and now we can test on the track. Oh, hang on, no, we can't test on the track. I forgot something. Um, we need to have the pegs on. That's an important part. All right, so to put the pegs on, we'll get, we'll just put that on like that. I think, I think that's right. Probably. And I'll just do that like this. And then repeat it on the back as well. Alright, so now let's, let's test it. Let's put, give, go for a test run. So we'll just connect this up to the engine. So you can get some fuel. And let's actually, um, I'll get some more fuel in it as well. Alright, there we go. This is like one benefit of having trains is that you only have to connect the engine into like one of the wheels because they are like connected with an axle, right? So they're both going to be driving anyways. I don't, I don't know if it saves fuel or not, but uh, there we go. Oh, this is really fast. So, there we go. Um, you can always put some more weight on the bottom if it's bouncing around just to like keep on the track. And I guess it works. It works, it's a train and it works, so yeah. 
No, I think it's just a matter of um, uh, just finishing the roof and then painting it, and I think it'll be done. Actually, I need the logic for the lights, and I actually don't entirely remember how to do the logic for the lights, but it, it can't be that hard. Let's just put it here. Oh, I cut a hole in like the nose part of the train and put that in there. And then we'll put the switches here, I guess. Like that. So the, let's just connect this one can be like the forwards one. So that's that and that's that. And then this one is the backwards one. Uh, so what you want to do, so we want to set this to an inverted one and then we want this, the inverted logic gate to connect with this. We want this logic gate, to, uh, this switch to be connected to this logic gate for the front. Now this is connected to the front one. And so when we turn it on, it's going to turn lights on. And then we've turned two, it's going to turn off. But to make the uh, reverse ones on, or this to connect it to this one. And we also want to connect it to number two as well, or number one as well. So number one has to be on for it to turn on. As you can see, the lights aren't on. And then if we press one, and let's just paint these so you don't get confused. I mean, it's not, you can't really see it very well because we're in the daytime. So there we go. It's on. We fill the switch and now it's reverse. So there we go. So there you go. I figured it out. It's, it's, it's actually really simple when you use your brain. But anyways, that's, that's that. So now we got the logic sorted. I guess the rest to do is just to finish off the roof and to paint it as well. And um, if you're wondering how I'm getting all these parts, I'm using the um, Survival recipe, recipe with Balance mod, which is a custom game mode. And it basically just gives you a lot more um, crafting recipes for parts. So that's how I'm, yeah, able to, I'm able to get all these parts in the game. All right, so I think that's, I think that's it. I think, oh, we put, we'll put some wedges in here. I have, I have a lot more re stuff, but I mean, that's, Oh, the couplers, I haven't done that yet. I mean, they're, they're pretty s simple. We'll just get on to painting, so... Orange, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter what you paint it, since you can just paint it whatever colour you want, right? But if you want it to be, like, accurate, then you want to gonna paint this orange. All of it, this is gonna be orange. Our uh, roof's gonna be grey. And the wedges are already orange, but they're not, like, the same shade of orange, so if, if you just paint it, like, over just to like make sure it's like the, the right shade of orange and then we can just unpaint the glass all right and then all these railings is going to be gray so just um you just spam the hell out of the paint tool I accidentally painted some of the track but or some of the rails but that's fine these eye beams are going to be gray as well all of this can be gray i think black actually might look better for like the under for the metal like under here so yeah, this this can all be black do the same on the other side so all of this is gonna be black um paint those so they're gonna stay red all right and then these are gonna be gray our roof is gonna be gray as well and the ones on the side here gray uh this is gonna be gray this is gonna all be gray all right, all right i didn't paint these railings so these all have to be gray and uh these um guide wheels can also be gray as well you know you don't really have to paint it since you're not really going to see it but unless you like your train flips upside down i guess then or just for the, for the sake of painting i might, might as well paint under there you can always just like underneath you can just like put some metal on the bottom as well like that um just so like the bottom has more um mass here you can always just like fill this in and i'm getting hungry again so let's just have some more milk and the lights uh we'll paint them like a creamy white just so they're like i'm not perfectly white so it's like more realistic that way i think that's it oh hang on i missed a spot here there we go yeah i think i think that's it that's that's look that's basically how how it looks like oh hang on a couple of slides right Couplers are important. Um, couplers, so just do it like this. Just have like a gap here, get bearing get to one of these. One of these pipes. The actual coupler on there is gonna be like, and I'm gonna have to get some more wedges. So we have, we have more wedges. Okay, we go like that. And then like 
this and I'll just paint this black. I mean, it's a bit out on the front, so you could just like move it back one block, and then we'll just move that one a block back, and then we'll just weld this uh, like so, and then that gives us some room to like sway. And then we'll just do the same on the back, and then paint that black. And there you go. Now you got your couplers. Uh, and so we can uh, connect some wagons on the end as well. So we can just like connect this up. And then to connect it, all you do is you just weld it, so that you don't have to worry about it like this connecting. And there you go. Now your train's done, and now we can go on a on a ride. There we go. And hang let's actually um, increase the uh, brightness of these lights just so you can see you down the track better. And the hat, let's, for the sake of driving the train, we might as well drive down the track. Uh, those farm bots are destroying the way on the way. Uh, hello. Um, let's get a. That's gonna be annoying, they're gonna destroy destroying the train track, but let's just get rid of the use. Oh, there you go. Um, I think the best way to fix that is I'm probably just gonna have to put like ramps on that section so they don't destroy it, but as we can see we're driving down the track here. And it's kind of jolting like when you go around the, the different bands, but like as you see look it's a train and it works. We're like, going down the track at like a relatively good speed here. Uh, it broke. As I was saying, yeah, we're going down the track at a relatively good speed here, and this is as far as the track goes so far, so, so yeah, that, it just ends here. Um, yeah. <laughs> it just, like, bounced up in the air. Um, I think it's because it hit this rock, probably, yeah. Yeah, if you have any other tutorials you want me to make, uh, be sure to let me know uh, in the comments. And, uh, th and thanks again for Euro Design Inc. for suggesting this video. And lastly, be sure to join the journey with your train.